what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it's your girl trisilla jk and we are here with another video i'm just playing okay let me stop some of you may or may not know that i was hospitalized at kaiser permanente roseville hospital for about three weeks um so i'm just gonna come on here and let you guys know what i was experiencing before during and after my stay at the hospital uh, because some of you have been asking like, oh, Trisilla, what happened? And like, you know, just asking questions. So I'm just gonna, de I decided to just make a video so I can just tell everybody at the same time or whatever. But um, so what happened was around the middle-ish of July, maybe like July 20th, I started getting certain symptoms and experiencing certain um, symptoms that I started ignoring. Like, for example, I'll get up out of my bed and I'll walk to the kitchen and I'll be like out of breath, like huffing and puffing type of, like I just ran a mile or something like out of breath. Um, but I was thinking, okay, because I was bigger, maybe it was just due to my size or whatever. Um, also, like say I'll bend to pick something up and I'll get back up and I'll be completely out of breath, like, again like i just ran a marathon or something um but these were the signs that i was ignoring um and i should not have ignored it but whatever you know i wish i would have uh taken precautions back then but basically i ended up needing to go to walmart to get some essentials so i was driving there and i was already feeling like i can't really explain it like my chest was heavy and I was having troubles breathing um but again I ignored it and I tried to connect it to like my weight gain or whatever so I got out the car started walking towards the door of Walmart and literally like me getting out the car and starting to walk towards the door I started feeling so dizzy so tired like I just I don't know I just started feeling so tired um, but I just tried to shake it off and I continued to walk towards the door. So I literally get inside and I had to actually return something the same day that I needed to get some items. So I walk up to the counter and the worker is like, hi, welcome to Walmart. How can I help you? And I told her, like, I just stared into her face and I'm like, you know what? I don't know what's going on, but I'm tired. Uh. I feel really dizzy I'll be back I'll be back I gotta come back so I left the little customer service area and instead instead of leaving out the doors actually I couldn't leave out the doors that I came in because it was a uh an entrance an entrance not an exit so I started walking around you have to pass you know the store to get around the check self checkout to another route to get out the doors so I started walking around and straight ahead, y'all know when y'all go to Walmart and there's like displays put up, whether if it's flowers or I don't know, like candy or whatever, there was a display of wine um, cases. So y'all I'm walking and I'm like, at this point, I'm feeling real dizzy. Like, I don't know. So eventually I was like, let me just, let me just stay still for a second. Let me, I don't know, lean up against y'all. I totally, at that moment, I just passed out. I just completely passed out forward. Like I, I leaned over like this and like laid up against the wine uh, bottles. And y'all, I was, I was out, I was asleep. Um, the next thing I knew, somebody had came from behind me and grabbed me, my arms and lean me backwards and lay me down on the ground and i felt them touching me and leaning me back and laying me on the ground but i didn't know what was going on where i was like my conscious was just somewhere else so um and the next thing i knew after that i woke up like on the ground and i'm like wait oh yeah where am i oh walmart oh and then it started coming back to me like you know um so there was managers that came up to me got me a chair gave me a, a a water bottle that i never paid for but whatever um so that really helped me as well 
eventually the managers were like oh what's going on you know we have online grocery uh, option where we can deliver to you you can come pick it up um are you okay and i'm like yeah i'm fine i'm sorry y'all like i'ma just go to the hospital I i've been feeling sick recently i've been ignoring it but after today let me just go let me just go so um i i i still needed to get my items like i yeah i was i just passed out but shoot i didn't come this way for nothing so i got on the little go-kart y'all y'all know that walmart got them little push carts y'all got on one of them electrical carts and drove my little fast self around the store got my items <laughs> went to the self-checkout got my items and went home drove home um so when i got home i what did i do when i got home i just relaxed on the couch y'all like why didn't i just put on some shoes and go to the hospital like here i go again trying to shake things off like bad idea i called my mom and if y'all know my mom my mom don't play and she's a nurse and she's all about you know my health and you know she's so caring of her kids and i called her and i'm like mom i passed out at walmart you know this and that like uh, where were you at daughter oh i'm 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 at home on the couch uh-uh you need to go to the hospital right now you need to go and i'm like okay so i um actually i think she came and did she come and get me i'm trying to think i want to say my mom came and got me and took me to the hospital and left yeah that's what happened so I'm getting checked out and they're asking me questions, y'all know, taking the weight and height and stuff like that. Um, and they did a EKG, my heart rate was fine. They did some blood work. I was deficient in some of the vitamins that I needed. Uh, so they put me on, they hooked me up on the IVs um, and they did more testing. They found nothing like they said I was dehydrated and they said I just need to drink more water and, you know, just try to stay hydrated. Because at that time, remember, this happened in July. So around that time, it was it's still summertime. It's still hot. So, you know, I took it and I'm like, okay, I was dehydrated. Go home, drink some water, you know. Um, at that point, some of the main symptoms went away for like two days. So I'm like, okay, maybe I was dehydrated. So so i'm at home and my boyfriend actually took the car to go to the store or something we needed something so i'm at home alone and y'all when i say i started getting hot and tired and those same symptoms i started feeling like dizzy and tired and i'm like what is going on so i stand up and i walk my bad y'all i get up and i walk to the room same thing, tired, out of breath. I lay down and I just feel like, I don't know, I feel so tired. Um, I call my mom and I'm like, mom, I'm, t I'm not feeling good. Um, I'm tired, I'm dizzy, I feel like passing out. Y'all, my mom went crazy. She was like, what? <laughs> Y'all know black moms, what? Oh no, Trisilla, call the ambulance, oh my God. You know how moms are, especially black mamas, they don't play, especially my mama, she don't play. So, so I went from being on the phone with my mom to getting off the phone with her and dialing 911. Y'all, I couldn't even like, I, was, I couldn't even stay awoke and like alert, uh, alarmed enough and up to even dial 911. Like I'll press the nine and then I'll drip off into a sleep or, you know, I'll drip off into being unconscious and then I'll wake up and I'll do them, I'll press one and then I'll be tired and I'll press another one. And finally I was able to call 911, y'all. And once I got them on the phone, I heard them say, 911 is your, what's, uh, what's your emergency? What's the address of your emergency? I pass out. And when I say I felt like my, my my spirit and my soul was leaving my body, like I'm not even over exaggerating, like my eyes were open and I was laying down on the bed and I was looking at myself in the mirror, like I felt myself leaving and I'm like, oh no. So something, I just had to stay strong. I, I built up a little more strength to tell them my address, my name, you know, I was like, Tr Trisilla. Griffin, out of breath, 
barely awoke so i finally gave them the address they came um the ambulance came did some testing some mandatory testing and they're like do you need a ride to the hospital by that time y'all my mom beat the ambulance <laughs> and came to my house before the ambulance even got there like my mom is only like not even five minutes away but so is the firehouse like it's it's close like she really beat the ambulance to me it came first and then right when she pulled up she came out the car and then here goes the ambulance so they came out did their testing and they're like do you need a ride to the hospital or a ride but you know do you need us to take you or get there quick and i'm like mm, no y'all really said no because y'all know them ambulance bills girl sis them bills be like two thousand dollars and three thousand dollars no i'm not famous yet i ain't mm -mm, i'm trying to secure this bag that's why i'm on here talking to y'all right now then maybe then i can afford a dang ambulance bill but not right now anyways so i told them no i'm good my mom's here she'll take me they had me sign off on me saying no in case anything happens you know it's not their fault why something happened to me so my mom um and my brother came i love my brother they both came and took me back to the same roseville hospital and this time my mom was not playing she got out the car y'all need to do some y'all she is not dehydrated y'all need to do more testing she mind y'all she's a nurse so you know she know her stuff so shout out to our nurses during the pandemic we love y'all okay thank you for making the world great again <laughs> anyways so this time i um get hooked up to the monitors they're like okay you're not dehydrated something's going on so they take me back and they do more testing and this time they do a uh, x-ray of my chest y'all i waited for those results i was laying in the hospital bed when well, my doctor came in and told me i had two blood clots one or each lung i lost it i lost it like i was like oh no they said we need to you you're not going home <laughs> you're not going home for a cool little minute get comfortable come get your pack your stuff you staying like I was like, oh no, at that time, I, I don't think I was working yet. I was, I was working, but you know, during the pandemic, I, I got furloughed. So luckily I didn't have to report to a job, but I did just get hired with the state and I had started training like a week after I got out the hospital. But anyways, so I'm there. I get taken upstairs. I got some x-rays on my legs to see if there was any more clots in my legs because the doctor told me they traveled from somewhere and got to my lungs and they was on the way to my heart. And I um, told um, the doctor, knew actually already about the two faintings I had, one at home, remember on the bed and one in Walmart. And he said, based on the testing, those were not faintings those were little baby heart attacks like there was strain on your heart so um y'all was laying in the hospital bed for three weeks just about um the nurses there and doctors took great care of me um so they just started uh blood thinner therapy on me and hooked me up to my thinner so i had ivs in each arm one for fluid one for blood thinners um y'all i got my blood drawn three times a day for three weeks do the math like i can't even tell you what that no that it was horrible like waking up at six o'clock to get your blood drawn then you finally can go to sleep and you waking up at two o'clock and then at night like it was horrible so at one point, one of the thinners that I was on started rejecting, like they weren't working. We did the blood results and my levels were low. So they had to try another kind of thinner and those finally worked for me. Um, also, uh, I couldn't really get out the hospital bed too much while I was there because every time I'll get up and walk around, I'll get tired, my oxygen will go low, I'll feel dizzy, like I'm gonna faint. So nurses had to be there every time I wanted to get out the bed. I couldn't go to the bathroom by myself. I couldn't get out the bed by myself. 
like it was bad i'm gonna insert some picture a, a picture of me i'm not sure which side i'm gonna use but me laying in the hospital bed i did a collage like a side by side y'all y'all know that movie what's the movie with uh what's his name marlon wayne's um i forgot the name of the movie but he um played like five different characters and he was like this there was all siblings and he played all the siblings and at the end there was the one that was in the hospital and his hair was looking crazy y'all i'm gonna assert the <laughs> i forgot the name of the movie i think it's like six tuplets or something uh, i did a little side by side to make myself laugh in the hospital and you know get a little humor put a little humor to it but anyways um Yes, yeah, so I got my bludger on a bunch of times. I couldn't get up. Um, I was taken great care of. I was put on blood thinners that uh, first wasn't working. And then the second set started working for me. Um, oh, yeah. So by the time I was discharged, um, uh, the doctors had to send me home on an oxygen tank. Y'all, that was a little embarrassing. Like, I'm not going to lie. Shout out to everyone that has to have that oxygen tank on like that is so annoying like it started hurting right in here my nose started feeling all i don't know like y'all have a feeling where your lips get all too chapped and it starts burning and this the wind is blowing and it gets ashy like my nose felt really like bad like it was hard trying to keep that on when the nurses will leave at nighttime and let us sleep a little bit i'll take it off and then they'll come in and put it back on and i'm like leave me alone <laughs> like I don't want this on but you know I had to uh while I was there my doctor was telling me like you know after you get out of here you can get back on your feet take it easy but you definitely need to work on losing weight because when I was in the hospital I had got up to I was about 283 pounds and my highest that I've gotten up to completely is 300 even if y'all know me and went to been to school with me y'all know i've always been you know had a small figure you know always looked healthy you know whatever um i did sports track volleyball you know um, but after high school when you get into that relationship and start eating y'all know what it is like get that happy weight that sad weight that happy weight some more and it's over so i blew up um, so after I got the hospital, I started eating better. I started exercising. When I could start exercising again, I started exercising, taking the dog for a walk, taking him to the park, running around with him, um, eating right, drinking more water. So I'm gonna insert, again, I don't know which side, probably this one, I'm gonna insert the heaviest weight I've been and then um, you guys can see the difference in my face, especially. And I was so sad back then being that big. Like I, I got depressed and just started eating and just to cope with my feelings and my emotions. But um, especially when that happened to me with going to the hospital, um, that was an eye opener. And, and I definitely decided to just change my life all around and go on a spiritual journey. And that's where I've been these past couple years. Like to the ones that know me and knew me in high school, like, and I, y'all been telling me like, where you been, Lala? You fell off the maps, you went MIA. Like, yeah, cause I did, I did disappear for a minute because I became depressed at one point and started eating and gained all those pounds. And y'all know when y'all gain so much weight, you don't want to be seen. You don't want to go out. You don't want to even go to the store. Like I was wearing black every single day, I, hoodies. I wouldn't do my makeup, my hair, wouldn't take care of myself. And fast forward to getting those blood clots. So honestly, I'm, I'm better now. I feel good. I'm gonna, um, my next video i'm gonna do a clothing haul so y'all can see how far i came and the journey doesn't stop here um but yeah so i just wanted to come on here and let y'all know what happened to me but i'm back looking pretty a eh? no <laughs> i'm goofy but yeah so if y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know what it is. And I'll see y'all soon.